Hey, what's up everyone? It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber guys and guess what? We are back at it again with another Predator review. Yeah! And we have right here the Hornhead Predator. Look at this guy right here. Look at the horns in this Predator right here. Man, whatever NECA does man, <laughs> they just know how to market these Predators. They could put horns on them, they could put tails on them, they could put genital, genital uh, on them, genitalia, genitalia, genitalia on them. They can pose them uh, without any armor, they can make the predator huge, and I don't mean huge like that, I mean, you know what I'm talking about, ladies. Um, but, uh, man, they they can just do anything, Put a, make a mantis alien, make a scorpion alien, what, what are they going to do next, the devil predator all red predator with the devil horns why not it's the next step right whatever they do they they do a pretty good damn a pretty good damn job at it why can't i speak today okay and so these are the other uh predators that you can buy also available i had a chance to pick up this guy I didn't pick him up because i just thought he wasn't that interesting and this chick right here if i can find it for cheap i'd probably pick her up um Here's a little read-up on the Predator, if you guys want to read it. Pause it now. <laughs> you can go ahead and read it. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean to sound like another fellow YouTuber. <laughs> now, this guy is on perfect card. I would hate to break this guy open because he looks pretty awesome and pretty perfect. But guess what? This is an unboxing channel, and we're going to go ahead and break this guy open. Um... It does look like he comes with some weapons right there. I see a sword right there on the side. And he does have a mask to cover up that ugly mug of his. Okay, guys. Let's go ahead and break this open. Uh, of course, this is from NECA. This is a perfect, perfect card. So it pains me. It pains me. As much as I would love to hang this guy on the wall uh, for display. Listen, that's why they make these toys. So you can take them out, display them, play with them if you want to. Um... And uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take them out and I'm going to play with them. Play with them with my action figures. Uh, because I'm 12 years old. No, not really. I mean, 99.9% uh, .9 of the time uh, I take out a figure is usually to review him. And then he goes onto the shelf for display. So I'm a little bit too old to be playing with action figures. And on top of that, um, I don't really have time. To <laughs> If I did, even if I was a millionaire, I don't think I would have time to uh, play with my action figures. Uh, nor would I want to. They're mostly for display purposes. Okay, so enough yapping, guys. Let's take this out. The box. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, and he comes with a few uh, accessories, huh? Look at that. Look at that. Man, it is noisy outside my house, isn't it? Jeez. So it looks like he comes with four blades, um, I'm guessing for his arms, because that's usually where the blades go on the Predator. Whoops! And it just kind of pops out like that. Look at that. Pop, pop, and pop. So four blades, same, they all look the same. And then he comes with this beautiful, giant, humongous, futuristic, ancient sword. Did that make any sense whatsoever? Futuristic, ancient sword? And you got to be careful with these NECA weapons because they are very, very breakable. And you can see there is some blue um, <clears throat> detailing on there to go along with kind of his blue uh, detailing. It's not a shimmer. It's kind of a blue wash to go over the silver. And, man, look at that. Look at this twisty tie, man. They know how to really wrap this thing up, don't they, the guys? Actually, it's not too shabby. So he just comes with one twisty tie. Let's pop out this Predator. Let's take a closer look at this guy. I love opening up new toys. I think it's an awesome feel. That's why I open them up uh, in person, on camera. Because it's just an amazing feel. I don't know of, of any other uh, action figure reviewer who does that. Maybe because I'm just one of a kind. <laughs> He's a very, very awesome guy. Look at that butt. Uh, Predator got back. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen the Predator's butt. I think it's always been covered up. But he's got some buns in the oven, man. 
Uh, might be female predator, huh? How can you tell the difference between a, f a, f a male predator and a female predator? That's I, I definitely want to know that. Oh, wait. Hold, hold, hold on. I got a joke for you guys. Okay. How can you tell the difference between a, a female predator and a male predator? A female predator has the devil horns. <laughs> uh, I crack myself up. Apologies to all the women that are watching this. If, if any. Uh, okay, so articulation, guys. <laughs> that was a bad joke. I apologize. It was a joke that just popped in my head. Uh, he does have some bend here at the knees. He, it looks like his elbows have to be a little warmed up because they don't look like they're going to bend that well. Well, I just bent, I just bent the elbow, so never mind on that one. This one is a little bit tight, so we'll leave that one alone because I don't want to break the predator's arm on camera. I'll leave that to the alien. Oh, snap. Our Batman. Um, pretty, pretty, pretty decent, guys. You know what? Let me put on the mask. See how he looks in the mask. So, and he's got the two pieces right here for the horns to stick out. And you just kind of place it on his face like so. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Yeah, what do you guys think? I don't know, man. I don't really know what to think of uh, the Predator's mask. I mean, it is different. It is covering up his face. It is freaking huge, though. Let me see. Maybe I got it on wrong. It's supposed to be in between his horns. Yeah, that's that's how it goes on there. I don't know, guys. I don't, I don't really care too much for the mask. It doesn't look, really look right on him for whatever reason. It just looks gigantic. It gives him like a gigantic head. Hmm. And it's covering up all this beautiful detail. I wish his mouth was open. You know what I mean? I like him unmasked. You know, maybe I'll find another Predator figure and then... Uh, uh, maybe I'll put this mask on that Predator figure. I mean, the mask is nice, but when you put the mask on him, it just kind of covers covers up all that detail that NECA uh, put into this figure. So as far as the head here, here's, here's the detail I'm talking about. Focus, camera, focus. All the beautiful horn work right here in the back. I don't think I've seen a Predator with these horns in the back. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I, I don't have too many uh, Predators unmasked, so maybe I am wrong on that one. If, I, if I'm wrong, correct me. But I can't remember him having all those horns on the back of his head and the top of his head. So, if you guys are hearing a buzzing outside, it's somebody's, my next door neighbor, I believe, is weed whacking his grass. So, there's his feet. <laughs> I've always, I've always, uh, been intrigued by the predator's feet how the hell can he walk with those big floppers okay so let's put in some of his weapons and i'm guessing they go in like so so oh yeah he can they did give us four of these spikes which that's pretty awesome pop in there hold on one minute guys let me I just needed to close my window because that weed whacking was freaking annoying. Okay. So, and then this goes in there like that. And then this goes in there like that. <laughs> yeah, man. Now, now he looks awesome, guys. <laughs> this is the Predator I know. Look at the spikes on this guy, man. Yeah, this, this took the Predator up a notch on the badass level. And then if you, if you don't have enough blades, here you go. You can put the sword into his hand like so. Or like so. <laughs> like so. <laughs> Dude. Oh my goodness. I think that's a little bit too much. <laughs> they did give us a sword holster right here, which he's it's probably going to go in there. Like so, and there you go. It looks it looks better there because he's got a lot of blades, guys. 
I'm trying to gently bend this. Really, really nice. I do like the blades. They give them a really, really extra touch. Let's see how he looks with the mask back on again. Yeah, not too shabby. Okay, it, it makes a little bit more sense with the mask and then you put the blades on them. So, okay. As far as articulation goes, guys, his arms do extend out that much. He does have a break here at the upper torso. I'm still going to leave the mask off him, though. He, his head is on a ball joint. And I showed you the bend of the knees. This is rubberized right here. And you see, this is on straps. So you can get his uh, legs to go off that much. Here is the detailing of the side. Listen, very interesting predator, predator to have in your collection, you know. It's amazing, you know, when you see these predators, uh, you know, in, you when you see them in... Uh, like on the internet for sale and stuff, you know, you don't think nothing much of them. And then when you get them out of the package and then you get them in your hands, you have a completely different opinion on them, guys. It's just something about NECA, you know. Um, you know, when you get one of their action figures in hands, whether it's a predator or whether it's an alien or whether it's some kind of horror figure, your mind just kind of changes. Your attitude kind of changes towards the figure. And you find yourself falling in love with the figure because it's so well detailed and so well made. Uh, NECA has that effect, man. I don't think I've ever bought a bad NECA action figure. And it's going to be kind of weird to stand him because he's not going to be standing up straight. So you have to try, kind of try to get him in a weird pose. You kind of have to get him hunched over for some reason to kind of get him to stand because of his feet. But even then, he's going to have a hard time standing. So yeah, that's the downside to this uh, Predator. Unless you can find like a base for him, you can pick him in there. But he's going to have a hard time standing, so you're going to have to place him up against something. But overall, I really, really like this Predator, man. I mean, despite the gimmick of him having the horns... Um, I still like him. I still like this Predator. Okay, guys, let me measure him for you, and I'll give you my rating. I think I spent enough time drooling over this figure. So this Hornhead Predator, all the way up to the back of his head, is about 8.5 inches. So I really, really like this Predator, guys. I'm going to be generous, and I'm going to give this Predator a solid 8. I definitely do think he's worth the pickup. If you're a Predator collector, you guys probably already have this figure in your collection. If you don't, uh, I suggest picking him up, man, because he's really, really awesome. He's It's a definitely interesting take on this Predator, and I love the detailing on here. I mean, uh, I said this, I said this uh, previously in one of my other reviews when I was reviewing another Predator action figure. NECA has perfected the Predator action figure. They've done an amazing job, guys. So yeah, I give a solid eight. Uh, I would I would give him a higher score, but there, there's just nothing special about him. He's just kind of another predator. But uh, if you're looking to get a predator, I definitely do think you should add him to your collection because he's pretty pretty awesome. So guys, we'll leave it at that. Tell me what you guys think of this predator. We're going for another close look. I do like the wetness to him. He looks a little bit too shiny, a little bit too wet. Like he's been sweating after a huge workout. But I do like the detail. These uh, these blades add another dimension to this Predator. I love the armor. I love the unique look it has. I love the big gig gigantic sword. The face sculpt, they always kill it. The head sculpt, they always kill it on it. And an additional you know, helmet right here if you want to cover up this face. It is also a plus as well, but I feel like when you put the mask on, it just kind of takes away a lot of the detail of the face. So I'm definitely going to leave that off. So I might put that on another Predator. So tell me what you guys think of this Predator. Uh, do you like him? Do you own him? Would you consider picking him up after now seeing him being reviewed? I definitely like this Predator figure, guys. Definitely, definitely like him. NECA really did an amazing job with this Predator. The only... The only gripe I have is that he doesn't stand on his own. You're going to have to prop him up against something because he look he's just completely off balance. 
and the way the shape of his feet he doesn't have any movement down here it's not a ball joint but it's kind of hindered by his armor so you're gonna have a pain in the butt trying to stand him up there you go if you put his feet like that and walking uh formation then yeah you can probably stand him up i'm, I'm just putting i'm just putting my foot in my own mouth <laughs> Get it foot in my own mouth? I don't. Yeah, I don't get it either. Okay, guys, um, we'll leave it at that. Tell me what you guys think of this review. Do you like this predator? Do you like this hornhead predator? Uh, leave your thoughts in the comments, and we'll leave it at that, guys. I just want to thank you guys for watching, and guess what? I'll catch you guys later. Bye.